So the Amazon is known for pink dolphins, anacondas, and piranhas. So I rigged up this big ball of meat and chicken fat and I'm gonna throw it in the river and then I'm gonna take my GoPro and I'm gonna throw it in the frenzy. This is gonna be awesome. Well, good afternoon. It is another beautiful day here in the Peruvian Amazon. After last night's adventure in the rainforest, I did recoup and <laughs> got some sleep. And now we're gonna spend the better part of the day today photographing everything that we saw last night. <laughs> Got you. <ya. laughs> yeah. Didn't even leave a mark. Yeah, the mosquito left more blood on you. Yeah, look at that. There's the mosquito. <laughs> There's where he bit me. Yeah, he didn't even draw blood there, dude. All right, so was that the snake's fault or my fault that I just got bit? <laughs> it's Devin's fault. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, he just nailed you big. I saw his, I saw his teeth get stuck in you. Uh, Devin, you seem to be having a problem there. Yeah, well, you know, I wonder where that came from. People always think that snake bites are much more painful than they actually are, though. It's just like, no, eh, it's like going to the dentist. Doesn't really hurt that much, generally. I think going to the dentist is worse than a snake bite. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather get bit by a snake than yeah, a venomous one. totally. <laughs> you want to be bit by this Amazon tree boa or root canal? Uh, Amazon tree ball. Right. <laughs> Bring them on. Hands down. <laughs> so word got out that a couple of crazy Karingos are down here who love reptiles. So all of the families from up and down the river have started collecting and are bringing us snakes and lizards and frogs and toads. And so I'm going to go up to the cabin and get some candy for these kids to thank them for doing this. That's actually really cool because these guys are finding us species that we have not yet seen here. So. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so we have spent the entire morning photographing and filming all the snakes and lizards and frogs that we found last night and the ones that our friendly neighbors from down the river have brought us. And I bet you we have only filmed at least a half a dozen species but anyway the reason I came down here was to film a couple of episodes for the reptile channel and uh, but already it's lunchtime and uh, so we're gonna go in and uh, grab some lunch here all right so this is the kitchen area and this is where they cook all of our meals and actually we're eating pretty well out here in the jungle check this out So there's these students here from California and they've never seen any of these snakes and lizards and, and frogs and things like that that we're finding out here and so we bring them into the main room here, the dining hall for lack of a better word, I don't know what they call it, but anyway, it is so cool to see these guys geek out about these reptiles like I do and they've never seen anything like this before so we've got this snail eating snake and we brought it in here and showed the students and they named it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's great. Now I'm going to finally do something I have wanted to do my, well, my entire life, frankly, ever since I was a kid. I'm going to go fishing in the Amazon. <sighs> There's nothing like wading out into the Amazon River with open-toed sandals fishing for piranhas with chunks of meat. All right, 
So I've got my first Amazon fish. It's not a piranha. This is an Amazon flying fish. Kind of cool. That's a good carousel. It's yeah. got a little adipose fin. Look at that fin. That's a flying fish. Amazon flying fish. Awesome. All right, so the Amazon is known for pink dolphins, anacondas, and piranhas. So I rigged up this big ball of meat and chicken fat, and I'm going to throw it in the river, and then I'm going to take my GoPro, and I'm going to throw it in the frenzy. This is going to be awesome. All right, here we go. Come and get it, piranhas. Oh, there they are. Wow, that, that was fast. Well, it's getting dark. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but they just turned on the generator, which means that it's almost dinner time. So I'm gonna head back to camp here and get some vittles. But today was a very relaxing day and that's exactly what I needed after 36 hours of airports and airplanes. And then yesterday, five hours down the Amazon to get here. And then of course our illustrious adventures in the jungle at night last night. I just needed a day to just kind of chill and film some amazing reptiles for the reptile channel and just take it easy and uh, that's what I got today and that's exactly what I needed. And to boot, I caught my first fish in the Amazon, an Amazon flying fish. I'll be honest, I didn't even know those existed until I pulled them up, so that was actually really cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some vittles and I'm sure tomorrow will be yet another adventure here in the Amazon rainforest. So love the planet, keep your life in balance and rattle on.